Thank God for Naomi. Look, she's back. She finally released five statements after everyone else was trying to speak for her. Looks like her husband here is going to do some drawing. And she's finally speaking out about what happened. This is going to be fucking enraging, by the way. There's nothing said here that means anything. It's annoying girl shit. So let's see what she said. What's poppin'? These are five things you need to hear today. Let's go. Number one, important people come and go. That's okay. Number two, you can look- Why is that okay? It's not okay at all. And important people need to fucking stay. Or and if they are going to get the fuck out, it's going to be on my fucking terms. At least, why does she have Jalen Brown doing this That's video That's what for I was thinking, too. What the fuck? This guy has a game to prepare for. Important people come and go. That's No, it's not. With sports teams and your personal life, it's never okay when important people go. Now look at this part. What is happening? Number two, you can look at it as rejection or you can look at it as redirection. Who is you, me or the important person? WWE or you? Who's looking at it? What is she talking? What about the contract? Does that have anything to do with any of this? What the fuck is this? Does this have anything to do with her? Or is this some completely unrelated, I just broke up with someone meme video and she's trying to apply it? I cannot follow along at all with this. Why not just make a video yourself? You have uh, a, a man doing this thing on a whiteboard on a fucking TikTok explaining your departure from WWE. You're trying to do some symbolism right here. This is fucking terrible. My comprehension skills are through the roof and I'm confused. Direction. Number three, you define what fun is. What about the contract? <laughs> fun. It's work, you fucking idiot. It ain't fun. I was on their side 10 minutes ago. Now I hate both of them. Let Sasha Banks make a fun whiteboard video. Maybe she'll make sense. Direction. Number three, you define what fun is. Don't allow someone to make you feel like what you like is stupid. Number four. Oh, is this for WWE fans? Because they like shit. They like pose offs and fucking lie detector tests. Is this what they have to watch to feel better? Because AEW is the only wrestling company in the world. She just ruined her shot on me ever caring of any explanation she will obviously do in the fucking future. I don't care about why you left anymore. If this is how your, your first fucking response is going to be since you left, I completely forgot she even did that to begin with. So she's dead to me even more now. This girl walks out. We make this video screaming on her side and she's like, look, I'm just defining what fun is. That's what you were doing. I thought you were the voice of the voiceless. This is like when Cody tricked me into thinking he was Dusty Rhodes' son. And then he quit the backstage producer gig to be a piece of shit wrestler. It's stupid. Number Dusty Rhodes had Dusty's kids. He would be looking back at you as his NXT kids. He was guiding the next generation. Cody abandoned them just like Glow abandoned us. Stupid. Number four. Sometimes you're going to have to let other people down to make yourself happy. Number five. Your diet isn't just... All right, now this one makes no sense. <laughs> but, well, the last one makes no sense with the diet. But she's letting us know she let us down on purpose so she can laugh at us and be happy. Disgusting. Stay away from wrestling. Try, you're not going to get any Total Divas E credit either. You're not going to get a reality show. We're all going to forget about her. You're better off streaming on Twitch, Naomi. Also, you can be Dusty's son when you're 45. Okay, Cody. Cody's whiteboard. Cody's whiteboard's the worst. To make yourself happy. Number five, your diet isn't just what you eat. Your diet is what you watch, listen to, and allow around you. No, your diet is quite literally your intake of your calories, your nutrition. I try to get my vitamin C up, Tyler. That's why I drink so much Sunny D. There's so much symbolism here going on. Sunny D is fucking great, Kevin, but obviously diet is WWE. We're supposed to be looking at this with the bigger picture. No, we're never going to fucking do that, Naomi. She was waiting weeks to find the perfect message, and she found this video and was like, oh, my God. Light bulb, <laughs> light bulb, light bulb. This is it. Gino, do you finally understand why she left? I do, and that's thing. There you be is this fucking product that makes you believe this is how you're going to be happy. You get all this money. You get all this exposure all this time. But again, Naomi wants to be a wrestler. She wants to actually be a performer. And there you be is not letting her do that. So she's finally realizing, you know what, to make myself happy, I do have to let all these people down and be free of all this shit. I need to allow myself to realize that my perspective is reality. What there you be is trying to have me do is not what's right for me. Could he she's be more be off? Could he be more off? She's old. She doesn't want to wrestle. She never was a wrestler. She's a funkadactyl. She wants to dance and have fun. She wants to change her diet. She isn't a wrestler. None of these wrestlers are wrestlers like you think. They aren't marks like us who think it's cool. They hate their life. They hate the whole business. They know they're fake fighting, and they know it all means nothing. They have no purpose. 
besides being this fake ass character on screen. And it's not fun to take bumps. This isn't some passion for them, Gino, like it is you. I'm sure for some of them it is. That's why, like, like Shasha, she, she seems to really care about this to a point. Like, she loves Eddie and wants to idolize Eddie and make Eddie in, like if, as if he was her father. So she wants to be like Eddie. Oh Naomi, I feel, does love wrestling to a point that she wants to keep going. And she just realized that Davey is not making that They're happen They're adults, for unlike us, who never grew up. Tyler, the way these wrestlers think of wrestling is like when we take, when I took 10 years off and hated it, that's how they feel the whole time. And I have to, like, watch Shawn Michaels in 06. And I'm like, oh, this poor guy. And he's in there thinking, man, poor me. Like, no one's having a good time, Gino. It sucks. I mean, it does. But I'm sure some do have a fun time, at least those that are finally out of the WWE bubble. That's They need to be free of this. They realize a little bit too late that we need to start to make a stir and be out of here. And hopefully they are going to be out. Hopefully Naomi and Sasha get to be free one day. CM Punk broke his leg to get away from us. Glow just wants to go find a new diet, Tyler. Diet, Tyler, your diet is what you listen to. Your diet is pop smoke, you know. Yeah, very powerful fucking messages. And thank you so much, Naomi, for teaching me this. I can't believe Gino's trying to defend that. Naomi actually has this passion for fucking wrestling. She came in there to be a little dance slut, and then she got offered to learn how to wrestle, and she got the security of a WWE job for the time being. She knows for a fact she's never going to fucking wrestle again unless she really needs the money even more. But I'm sure she can go to OnlyFans or fucking become a TikToker. You define what fun is, Tyler. Rejection or redirection? Maybe Gino's right. Tyler, is she going to impact where she belongs? Hear me scream. Let me tell you something that's been on my mind. Something I've been hiding way down deep inside you. Know it might be something you don't want to hear. But it's something I must say, so let me be clear. Be mine.